Hi there everyone, my name is Vince and welcome to the channel. In this video, we have the first of its kind for Milwaukee Tool. It's their new M18 Red Lithium Forged Battery. Now there's so much buzz and excitement around this battery technology, and rightfully so. It is unbelievably powerful, very compact, but you all have a ton of questions. Is it right for me? Does it make sense for me to invest in this new battery technology? And is it really worth the extra money? And in this video, we hope to answer both of those questions for you, and it's all coming up. So the reason there is so much buzz around this battery pack is because of the promise that this XC 6.0 battery actually gives the watts out of the much larger HD 12.0 battery pack. Now, when I say watts out, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the power to drive larger demand tools like circular saws, motor saws. Those tools require a lot of watts to run efficiently. We're not talking about the size of the pack, this is a 12 amp hour battery. You're getting 12 amp hours worth of power. This is a six amp hour battery pack. And although you're getting that higher wattage out, you're still only gonna get a total of six amp hours. So now that I've given you a brief explanation, let's get into the part that I know you all are excited about and so am I. We're gonna run the tools. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with more modest tests and then we're gonna work our way up to larger tools that require more watts. We have Milwaukee Tools Gen 4 quarter inch impact driver. We have a six amp hour battery, it's fully charged. We're gonna do a kind of a time test. The reality is though, I'm pretty sure if you, if you blink, you might miss this. We're on speed three. We have a six inch lag fastener, don't blink. One, two, three, go. Fairly f effective, didn't take much time, but let's put the forged battery on the fuel impact and see if we have any different a result. Oh my God, hey dirt. See to your pants? The only thing I could notice is the tool feels a little bit more balanced with the Forge battery because it is smaller. And I know you're probably wondering, wait, what is Forged? How are they doing this? Is it a different cylindrical cell? What they're using is pouch lithium technology. It is more comparable to a battery pack that you would find in your cell phone or a laptop. If you wanted to see how that's all possible, you can go right here, check it out. We have a 7 8 spaddle bit. We have a couple of two by fours. This is an easy way to do a time test. We'll see the breakthrough at the bottom. See how it does. Let's try it with the forged, forged lithium. I think we're gonna need something a little better. Oh my God, hey there. This is Milwaukee Tools Gen 4 Fuel Hammer Drill, which is unbelievably powerful. Auto stop is off. So all the wrist breaking is in effect. We have XC 6.0, 21700 cells. We have a two and nine sixteenths switchblade bit. We got double two by. We're gonna go speed one. <laughs> the beauty of this bit is that it's self-feed. Just let the tool do the work, draw the bit through the cut. Let's see if the forge gets this test done any quicker. In speed one, with a fully charged battery.
Both batteries provided, you know, a tremendous amount of torque. And I felt zero stall from both battery packs. I will tell you though, it might have been perception of my mind. The tool actually did feel a little torquier with the forged battery. You might be paying more for a pouch lithium, but you're going to have a battery pack that the lifetime of the battery pack, where previously you might only get 300 charge cycles out of a cylindrical cell pack. You could get three times to four times that amount with a pouch lithium pack. You know what would be a great test though? Let's put the XC uh, high output battery pack on. During pipeline for 2022, we were out at Milwaukee Tool where they demonstrated this hammer drill. When they did their demos, and we did our demos, they were in speed too. A lot of people ask, hey Vince, why are you running that hammer drill in speed two? And that's exactly the way you sound when I read it. And I will say it's because we're confirming the testing protocol done by Milwaukee Tool. I'm pretty impressed. Let's see if the forged battery pack maybe saves us some time. It feels torquier. It feels torquier. We got a one inch by like 12 inch auger bit self feeding. I'm gonna throw it in speed too. We're still on our hammer drill. Let's see if it makes a difference. Not bad. Approximately to the, to the end of the shank here, about six inches. See if Forge makes any difference. Where it's seven and a quarter. Okay. Now, some of you might say we're at the center of the wood, but here is your, this is the center of your knot. You can see we're actually in an outer part of the ring here. So this portion should actually be softer than this portion here. We're literally at pretty much seven, seven and an eighth. We tried to give Forge a second run, benefit of doubt, because it's the new kid on the block, but. We have Milwaukee Tools M18 Fuel inch and eighth rotary hammer. It has a built-in hammer vac. I like this unit a lot because it's big, it's powerful. And I'm able to use this inch and an eighth Rotary hammer bit from Diablo. It's their rebar demon. If I hit this rebar, I go right through it. It's like crazy. We went clean through, unobstructed, didn't hit any rebar. That hole is massive in there. It's a huge, massive hole. I mean, it's impressive that we've come to a point in time where you could actually accomplish this feat using battery power. Just to give you an idea of where that battery is temperature-wise after that. felt like it did its job much faster with the forged battery. We have Milwaukee's Super Sawzall with Orbital, which we won't be using to cut this eight inch I-beam. We have our six amp hour battery. It is fully charged. Swapped to a new Diablo hand plate. We have our fully charged forged, forged battery. For 
me, I would look to spend the extra $20 for more life cycles. It's a small investment for a much larger return. The other thing is just the price alone, only $20 more than its cylindrical cell counterpart for potentially three to four times the recharge cycles. It kind of makes it a no brainer, but I want to know what you think down below in the comments section. Does it make sense to spend the extra $20? Do you need the extra 20 bucks because money's tight? And, and listen, that is no dig. I understand that we're all small business owners, trades people, uh, you know, every dollar counts. But if you're looking to return to another tool video, then watch this next one. It's coming right up after this. You're gonna love it. I promise you, it'll be more Milwaukee tools.